Hey everyone, thanks a lot for joining in. It's Jeff. Typically I talk about FinTech and the crypto wars. This time we're gonna talk about some cybersecurity. So check this out. Look at that, UB key right there. It's a hardware USB key for your storage, basically a form of MFA, multi-factor authentication, or you might have even seen it called 2FA. So 2FA, MFA, uh, multi-factor authentication, um, but yeah, this put in your keychain. You not only need your username, and password, but you need this key to unlock certain accounts that do have this enabled. So during the week, we actually see Binance offering this uh, to their clients now. So check that out. There you go, the UB key there actually programmed into it so that they could allow 2FA for their clients. This is uh, the older version. This is basically about uh, 20 bucks. That's the key that I have. Um, but yeah, you, you, you kind of need that to help protect your private keys. Um, so if the hacker comes in and knows your password, they not only have your password, but they need to have this key. So here's some of the companies that do support the YubiKey. So you got Dropbox, Google, Google Cloud, Microsoft, things like that, Volter, which is kind of like uh, Digital Ocean for uh, putting up web apps. So this is actually the UB website, but and these are the different companies that do support it. So we're gonna go over to cryptocurrencies so as you can see, you see a couple of companies already are supporting these UB keys. You got BitBay, Bitfenex, BitMax, Kraken, Nanex, and uh, now we're gonna have added in there Binance. But yeah, th these are very important, I think, uh, for everyone to know about these keys. And if you do have any important accounts, you should probably enable um, this kind of key for it, such as like your email or um, you know, cloud storage, things like that. You know, you definitely want that higher security. We have cybersecurity breaches daily from not only the Marriott data breach, but you know, that's, it's going on everywhere now. So that key was so popular, Google actually used it for a while and then made their own version of it called the Titan security key. So here's the Google version of it. Looks kind of similar. They do have NFC on it too for um, opening the account. I prefer the YubiKey primary because you never know with Google, like, you know, if they're looking at your stuff or whatnot, like, who knows what Google does, but, you know, rather have some other company that's uh, independent kind of uh, with, this, with this key. Here's a newer version, it's NFC. Older one doesn't necessarily have NFC on there. Um, I like the older version with no NFC primarily because NFC just basically creates another element of risk for hackers to try to penetrate because NFC is, you know, hackable, but, you know, so you kind of want something that's, you know, you, you don't want other things in there just for the hacker to come in. But you do also have Faraday cases you can put these into so that, you know, that signal isn't being emitted out there. So, you know, any of these keys are really good, I would say, for any of your accounts that you think that are important. Um, but yeah, definitely check these out. I know a lot of people don't know about these, but um, you know, in the fintech space and crypto world, I think these are very essential and everyone should really get these. And even if you're not in the fintech or crypto world, you should still get these just because it creates an enhanced element of uh, security for your important accounts. So um, thanks a lot for checking this out. Share this video, um, retweet it, like it. If you don't like it, still uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, share it too. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.